Kenny Green, raw perspective, concrete and steel, keeping it good and raw. Listen, I want to let you guys know that the Armin Moore High story is nearing completion. I figured let me give you guys another teaser. And man, there's some things I discovered in doing this story that, man, I just wish Quentin B. Vance, Heist 88 crew would have spoke to him and they would have got some of the things that would have made that so much a better story. So, you know, check this out. Crime to transfer $70 million from three corporations to a bank in Austria. Though the movie Heist 88 has brought attention to this unbelievable story, dramatic license was taken, so much about this incident is still unknown. To tell your own story in your own damn words is very important to Mr. Moore. You know, nobody wants to be betrayed by somebody that they trust. What I can really say about Armin Moore, um, fabulous. And even after suffering for decades in federal prison, Mr. Moore still hasn't lost his taste for the finer things in life. A complex man, but at his core an extremely generous person, looked upon as a sort of Robin Hood. Love him or hate him, Armin Moore is definitely one of a kind. And although all the money was retrieved, it took the feds quite a while to unravel what prosecutors called an almost perfect crime, all while remaining calm as he worked his way to the ultimate conclusion of the plan. And despite all the highs and lows, Armand still keeps pushing to tell his own story his own way. Discover the real story about Armand Moore and what really happened with one of the biggest bank frauds in American history.